Good evening, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Phil Kent here. Uh, 100 Day Blitz live video for Facebook. We're on day... Where are we? Day 33. Lost myself there for a minute. Yeah, day 33. So how are we doing? Hope you're all okay. Give a couple of minutes to see if anybody else shows in. Showing that um, the consistent action um, pays off. Oops, one second. Phone's playing up. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Drop a comment, say hello. Let me know where you're from. Just give a, just give a minute to see who turns up. Hey Charles, how are we doing? Charles, you can come on board if you like. Let me see if we get a request here. We're going to talk about not what you know. How are you doing, Daniel? So drop a comment, say hi. For those who don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing a 100 day blitz. Uh, this is day 33. Been doing a Facebook Live video every single day along with building up the friends. Hey Charles. Nice to see ya. You can if anybody wants to, if anybody wants to join me on one of these lives, you can you can request to join and I can throw you up. I've had uh, I've had a couple of people do it in the past. I've had uh, Matt Feast on before. I've had um, Noel Curran on before. So if you if you just you can use your little screen thingy, you pop up and you can request to join the chat and I can connect you on and you can you can join up. So if anybody wants to do that, just request to join and it's quite interesting. Sometimes you get two people having a chat about things. So I was going to chat about today. I was going to chat about um, it's not um, it's not what you know, yeah. And uh, some people say it's who you know. I don't. I'm not always agreed on that. But what I did a post on it yesterday, and basically I said it's not what you know. It's how you apply what you know, and that's that's basically what I believe. And because at the end of the day, you might have all seen it. You you can be part of a program, part of a business, and even new people can come on board. They can all be shown the same things, they can all be shown the same tools, all be given the same resources, and yet one person will get zero results and the other person will get a ton of results, yeah? So why is that? Are they any, are they any different person? No, they're not, you know? The difference is, is their application of what they've been shown and what they're doing and their consistency in their daily routine, and that is what it comes down to. People blame themselves for not having a list. They blame themselves for not knowing anybody. They make excuses for their failures, and that's what it's all about, you know. And you can't be doing that, you know. Everybody in this industry has the potential to earn and become what they want, you know. Some will get it faster than others. Yes, if you've got a bigger budget, that may help. But at the end of the day, I know many people already that have come from nothing, and there's some there's two recognised leaders now online, namely sort of Rob Fraser and Frank Labo Jr., who both came from completely broke backgrounds and are now very successful, earning incredible amounts of money. And they came from nothing; they didn't have a penny. And did, did they know anything different? No, they didn't. They just applied what they knew. They followed other people. They took notice of the ones that are being successful online. They utilised what they were learning, and they basically took the action and that is what it all comes down to you know so it's not a case of what you know and it's a case of applying what you know i did the post on it yesterday got quite a good feedback once again you know and that's what you've got to do you've got to take all the tools all the resources that you've got and just take action guys and that is what you need to do you need that consistency you need to take the action and that's what's going to get you the results it really is it's not as simple as that because you can see it so many so many times you can join a program join a business you know, and there can be people in a Facebook group and you'll, there's always sort of two, almost two groups of people. There's those that are bringing people in, those that are doing well, getting involved, getting involved in the chats. There's always these sort of people. And then you get the other sort of section, the ones with the employee mindset, basically, where all they're posting is, what do I do? How do I get started? Where do I go? What do I do? I need help. You get all these you know, silly little statuses that they're posting in the groups and they're just not applying what's right in front of them now they're not implying what's right in front of them 
and they're just sitting there, you know, twiddling their thumbs. You know, they're not they're not going out and finding the banners. They're not going out and finding the resources. They're not finding out how to advertise. They're not doing, not even reading the pinned posts. They're not going to the file section in the groups. They're not they're not doing anything. You know, basically, you know, they may have just grabbed the link and stuck it on their timeline and wonder why nobody joined. You know, or they'll try and make a few connections with people and whack out a message, and uh, you know, hey, join this, join this, the latest greatest potion lotion. Biz up, you know, whatever it may be, locking your spot, you know, is you, you get it all the time, you get it daily. And you know, all us marketers get these things daily, where you know the, the latest, greatest, shiny object comes along. We must take get on board now, get in at the top. You know, we've seen all the crap, we're sick of it. You know, <laughs> you know, they're all, it's all the same thing, we're just with a different name. You know, the, the difference is it's not what you know, it's how you apply what you were taught is being consistent. I bang on about it all the time and it's taking action. You know, I've got, you know, I've got a guy, uh, got a guy here today. If you see on the chat, Charles down at the bottom. Hey Lee, how you doing? You know, Charles, I've had a few people join USI over the last two or three weeks and you reach out to them, you contact them, you know, you try and offer them help, you contact them on Facebook, email them, nothing back, you know, they just don't do anything. And then they're the first ones to say, what do I do? It's not working. Then you get someone like, say, Charles, who comes along, you know, gets on board straight away, contact me straight away, answers messages, gets active, buys packs straight away. And then, you know, he's going to, he's going to make a success of the business. That's, that's the difference, you know, because he came on board. He was no different than the other people that joined. You know, he just came on board. You know, I gave him the same resources. I showed him to the correct Facebook group, the best one that's around. You know, and he's, he's made use himself. He's taken his own action to get himself started. It's not really difficult. And that's what so many people fail to do. You know, they, they just they just sit there. And I almost laugh now at these people because you think, what's wrong with you? You know, you, you get into these Facebook groups. And I'm just reading what Lee, Lee, Lee just showed. So true action takers make a difference. Yes, they do, Lee. Spot on, you know. Because we all see it. We, it doesn't matter which business you're in. What program you're in, you'll see the people who post in the Facebook, I need help. I've just started. What do I do? You know, and you're thinking, what's wrong with you people? You know, nearly all of these Facebook groups have pinned posts. They have getting started guides. You know, the individual program, nine times out of ten, will have tools, resources, training, what to do, you know, how to get started. Most of them do. There's not many that don't, some that don't. You know, but normally they've got a good active Facebook group, you know. And as Lee said, it's the action takers. you just got to get on board and get going with it, you know. And it doesn't matter what your budget is. It doesn't matter. You know, yes, it helps if you've got a bigger budget and you can buy paid traffic. Of course it does. You know, that, that can give you a head start. But, you know, back in the day when I was first coming out, I didn't have a penny to invest in paid traffic, but I was consistent. I used to make sure that I did at least 10 forms of free pay, free marketing every single day, every single day. And it was all different things. It was IBO Toolbox, it was YouTube, it was Craigslist, it was Backpage, you know, posted on Google Plus, you name it, you know. And I still do a lot of this stuff today. A lot of it is more sort of syndicated and automated now, you know, but that's just, you know, but I'm still consistent. And then that's the main thing. It's taking action and being consistent because you've got to, especially with this industry, it's so competitive, you know, you've got, you've got to be seen. You've got to be banging out there all the time. And I proved it doing this 100-day blitz. Half the reason I did it, I just wanted to show to people what you can do by being consistent. And I stripped my Facebook account back down to just over a 1,000 because it was dead in the water. There was no engagement. There was no comments, no likes, nothing. So I stripped it back to right just over a 1,000. And at the start of September, which was before my 100-day, I started to really work on rebuilding the Facebook friends. And then come the start of October, I introduced my own 100-day blitz, which I'm going to, it's going to take me through to mid-January. But in, you know, in two months, literally exactly two months, I've added back 2,000 friends. You know, in the last, in October, I did over 1,000 friends. And it's averaging about 30, 40 new friends a day just because I'm applying what I've been taught, my method for connecting with the friends, the specific people that I'm targeting on the Facebook friends. You know, they've got to be active, they've got to be like-minded, they've got to be in the same industry, niche, etc. But using those and being that way, I'm adding around about 30 to 40 on average new friends per day. You know, and I'm, I'm able to 
been managing to send out, should I say, uh, between around about 75 and 90 friend requests a day now without any sign of Facebook jail. It's it's a system that a guy showed me on YouTube. Very effective system. I'm only going to be re revealing it to direct team members because you know most people say, oh, you can only send out 10 to 15 face Facebook friend requests a day. It's the total rubbish. Well, I'm blowing that very right out of the water by my numbers. And you can check out my spreadsheet. You can see that I post my daily updates online. You are able to send out a high number if you keep it targeted and you can keep, there's a way of keeping it under control. And that's the, that's, the, that's the difference. You know, you've got to have a high acceptance rate. You've got to keep the whole thing under control, which is what I do. You know, but it's yeah, getting back to the point. It is, you know, as Lee says, it's, it's action takers make the difference. You know, they're no different to you or me. Nobody's any different. Everybody's got the same tools. Everybody's got the same potential. Everybody's got the same know-how. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It just it's just a case of what how you apply it. It's your mindset. That's what it is. You know, I bang on about mindset a lot because it changed a lot for me two or three years back. You know, and there are two lots of people. You've either got an entrepreneurial mindset, like a growth mindset, or you've got the fixed or the what I call the employee mindset. And those ones that we spoke about in the Facebook groups, they are they are the um, you know they are uh, the employee mindset types. Where they just want to come in, do nothing, or do as little as possible, and expect to get paid for it or to, to earn for it, and that's the that's why they get the employee mindset. Lee says the same amount of hours in a day too. Exactly, yeah, that's that's a big point because uh, I'll, I'll touch on that one, Lee. Because I'm, you know, these people that come in and say they don't have time, you know. When they say that to me, I almost laugh at them, you know, because I'm a full-time carer for my disabled wife at home. My time online is limited. A lot of the stuff that I can do, I set up now to get it automated because I have to. You know, my day starts around 5 o'clock in the morning and finishes about, whatever, 11, 11 at night, something like that. It all depends on my partner's needs. So in between, um, I do things like this. I make time to do my Facebook Lives. I make time to do some posting. I'm, I'm using some automation now because I have to, you know, but it's working. You know, it's, it's getting the results. It's using the automation. So, again, I'm applying the tools and resources that I've been shown how to use them and that are readily available for everybody to use. You know, there's enough automation syndication stuff that you can do. You know, as as Lee says again, you know, it's, it's like we've all got the same amount of hours in the day. These people say, oh, I haven't got time. Then make time. That's that's the difference. You know, go to bed an hour later. Get up an hour earlier. You know, whatever. You know, do it in your lunch hour. Lunch hour. I, I know a guy that I used to work with. His entire lunch hour at work, he used to go on Facebook or go online, you know, because he was making time. Was he, Did he get successful? Yes, he did. He ended up leaving his full-time job and he now does his full-time that's the difference. It's making the time. You know, it's it's utilizing what you're doing. So if you want the time, make the time. You know, if you make excuses, you're gonna get. That's what that's, you know. That's what's gonna happen. You know. Hi Jerry, how are we doing? You know, you know. Set yourself goals. Set yourself targets. Make the time, guys. You know, make the push yourself out. You've got to step out of your comfort zone if you if you want the results. You know, am I one of the top earners online? No, far from it. You know, do I do better than a lot of people? Yes, I do. You know, you know, we get my wife and I get going about four vacations a year now. That's what we like to do. But you know, we have to work hard for it. You know, when when I'm not there, you know, you come back down and knuckle down and get on with it. You know, you make the time and utilize your resources, and that's that's what it boils down to. We have this conversation so many times. And the first, I feel for people who run Facebook groups. I've done it a couple of times. I said I probably won't do it anymore. You know, even even the admins and they they deal with these, you know, sort of nothing people comments. You know, when someone asks a constructive comment, constructive help, that's fine. That's what they people are there for. When they come in with these, you know, what do I do? You know, I've been here a week and nobody joined. You know, oh, I, I'm sorry about that. Well, let's all. Let's all whip round and get some sign-ups for you, shall we? You know, they, they've got this crazy mindset that they want things done for them, the employee mindset. So I thought I'd just touch on that. I mean, some people say it's not what you know, it's who, it's who you know. I don't think that is strictly true in the online world. I think it can help. I, I think 
being connected with the right circle of people yes i think that's a definite plus you know you've got to get the like-minded people around you you've got to have positive people around you you know you've got to have those like any negativity or remove it completely now and i'm quite vigilant you know, i don't want any negative people around me I don't want them around my timeline don't around my workspace you know any negative comments they're off gone you know join the block list get out of here you know i want positive people positive energy you know, people that are, you know, liking and commenting and all got the same vibes. I said, that's, that's who you need to be networking with. You don't want these negative moaners around you. It's negative energy. It's all, that's what it's all about. You don't, you don't want any of that. You know, get yourself with the people that are lively, that are fun, you know, positive and got the vibes and want the same, want the same results and desires that you do. And when you're mixing with these people all the time, it, it brings you up. And it keeps you up on a, on a high level, and that's what I've done. I mean, the, the change in my Facebook account has been so dramatic since I just decided to take action. So, right, I'm going to bring this thing back to life, stripped it back to nothing, and I've literally transformed it in a matter of weeks, and it will only get better. I'm going to take it right up to as close to 5,000 as I can, and then I'll probably keep that running like that and then focus on the Instagram account and bring that one up. But at the moment, that's still growing nicely, it's growing about like 20, 30 followers a day as well, so that's coming up. There's all these little things that you do, being consistent. Charles, just looking down, a good mentor plus action equals results. Bang on, Charles, there we go, see, that's all you need. You know, get yourself a good mentor, get yourself a good leader. You know, and the and the key to on the end there, plus action equals results. That is what that's what it is. You, know, you can't expect things to be handed you on a plate for nothing. You know, yes, there's a lot, there's there's a lot of passive income programs around there now. Of course there is, but I mean, you still got to put in the work. You know, you now I had a person message me the other day who's been you know they want they wanted my help to grow their USI business and they're not even on my team. They're not even in, you know, I don't mind people asking for a little bit of advice, you know, uh, hey, can you help me with something or just a little bit of advice or can I recommend something? But they actually wanted my help to grow their team for them, you know. It's, it's crazy that some of these, the mindset, that some of the questions you get asked sort of defy belief. You say, well, why would I want to help you grow your team when you have nothing to do with me? I don't mind if it is something you want to know. I can direct you to a good video about who needs more information on USI or, you know, whatever. You know, it's just it's just this mentality. Uh, I do call it the employee mindset. It was, you know, I learned a lot from sort of Mark Hoverson back in ILN days and he touched on mindset a lot. That's where I sort of picked up a lot of my mindset stuff and it was described as the employee mindset and the entrepreneurial mindset. And I think it's such a good way because you look at an, an employee that goes into a job and we've all worked with the ones that just want to go in, turn up, clock out, get paid. That's it. Yeah, that is the employee mindset online. That is what they want to do. They want to turn up, do as little as possible, want people to join and make money. You know, that's the employee mindset. Whereas the entrepreneurial mindset will go in and work hard, put in the, the daily action, daily consistent action, day in, day out, day in, day out, and work hard and step out of their comfort zone and do videos if they've never done them for, do the Facebook lives, get, get the posting, do the adverts, do whatever, run some paid traffic, you know, whatever it is, you know. And people say, I haven't got much of a budget. Again, if you look at the people like Rob Fraser and Mike Frank Calabro Jr., you know, look at the people that have achieved great success from nothing. Did they have a big budget? They had no money whatsoever. You know, look what they've done. And they both use a lot of paid traffic, but they started buying just what they could, what they could. You know, the cheapest solar ads for about 30 bucks a week, you know, and then put some more back in and then just found that little bit of budget. And that's what you have to do. Anybody can start out with nothing, you know, nothing. I think that there's, I think it's uh, it's one of, one of the USI guys. I'm not sort of banging about USI. I'll give you another example. He started the industry with his, his USI business and he's not actually spent any money at all. Now he just he just registered the free account and started getting people in because you can earn the commission from as a free member and then used his first commissions that came in to get his first packs and it's just sort of snowballed, you know. So he's actually doing extremely well, you know, and he's not put anything into the company. It just shows you what can be done, 
you know, he's, he's just gone out and used his own resources and used the tools and the training and everything else to recruit people without actually buying physically any packs and that himself. It just shows you what can be done if you've got the right entrepreneurial mindset, and if you, if you just take action and do it, you know, diligently and religiously over and over and over and just be consistent because it will pay you in the long run. If you're doing all these things over and over and over on a daily basis, then the results have to come. They have to come. It's, it's impossible not to. You know, if you're, if you're only doing a post here and a post here every now and then, maybe today, maybe once on the weekend and maybe next week, then guess what, you know? Not a lot's going to happen, you know. You, you got to get people to see you, and you got to build up the relationship side of the business. You got to get yourself out there. You got to get yourself seen, you know. You know, a few years ago, people would sort of join anybody almost. You know, they would sort of grab a link and join. That's how it used to be. It used to be a lot easier. Nowadays, you know, it really is. It's more of a people industry now, I think, than it ever was. You know, people only want to join with somebody they've seen, that they know, like and trust. And that is the big three. And it's, it sounds a bit cliche, but it's true. That's what they want to do. You know, so you've got to build up that presence. You've got to build up that sort of relationship with everybody. You know, whether it would just be posting, just posting daily on Facebook, commenting on daily on Facebook and things like that, because you're more than likely going to have people come to join you because they've seen your videos, they've seen your Facebook lives, they've seen seen your posts on Facebook. It's that connection that you've built rather than they go off to somebody else. A lot of people are intimidated now with big leaders because they know what they do. You know, they, they just sort of go and get masses into a program and then go to the next one. And they don't really care about the people behind. So give people a reason to want to work with you. Give people a reason to want to join you always by providing value, being out there regularly, being seen on video, being regularly posting on Facebook, go and comment on other people's posts and like posts and thank them if they if they if they come you know post on yours, whatever it is. Let's uh, scroll down the comments. Lee People today are buying for the relationship and an experience. Look at big selling items like Starbucks coffee. Bang on. Some brilliant points here Lee's coming out with, you know. Yeah, you know, it's it's excellent. That's right, they're they yeah, that's a good a good way to describe it. They're buying for the relationship and an experience. That's right. You know, it's bang on. You know, and I, 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 you'll hear me go on about it a lot about the people join people. You know, I have people come to me all the time. Or they message me and say, I, I watched your Facebook live the other day. Just they're not always doing it live. A lot of people watch your backs on different time zones, which is why I repost my Facebook live always, you know, I'll repost it back onto my timeline. So it bumps it back up later on in the day, you know, so fresh people get to see it. You know, I'll do YouTube videos, you know, how to videos. And you know, people say, oh, I don't want to go on video. You know, you just got to step out of your comfort zone. Just do it. You start off by doing a Facebook live, you know, so then, then go on to YouTube videos and just, just make them about anything. It doesn't really matter. If you know how to do something, make a video on it. That's what I say to everybody. And it's better if you make your first videos, especially of where YouTube's concerned, if you make a video about something that you know really, really well. Okay, that's, that's the best way to do it. Most people know how to do something really well, especially online. It doesn't matter how small it is. And the reason I say that is because if you just make a video on something you know really, really well, your confidence level is going to be very high because you're very confident in what you're doing. And you're going to be very confident in what you're showing. And it just starts you off. You know, is it going to be perfect? Nope. Do you need the fancy lighting, big screens? Nope. You just need to be you. That's all you need to be. Just be yourself. Be natural. I've watched videos of people with babies on their laps, kids running around in the background, mums carrying things while they're talking on the phones and trying to do the laptop at the same time. You know, it's 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 normal. People want to be... You know, people want to see normal people. That's what they want to see. They don't want to see all these professional, you know, get ups because they think, well, how can I do all that? You know, there's so many people you watch on YouTube, you'll see them, they're just being themselves in their, in their home background. But that's why a lot of people say to me, I don't know what to do a video about. And I always say to them, what do you know how to do? It's one of the first things, what do you know? What are you good at? You know, we're all good at something, you know, and specifically if you can find something that they're good at online. Because then you can say, well, make a video on it.
just make a good shout out to it. It will, it will give you that confidence to start doing because you're going to be so confident in what you're actually showing and it'll just get you on screen for the first time. And then, like anything, the more you do, the better it will get. You know, it's, it's as simple as that. And then just keep doing it. And you've got to remember that, remember what YouTube is. That's what I say to people. It's, it's all the things that I've sort of learned. People say, well, what do you make videos on? Absolutely anything. You know, especially about your program. You know, because YouTube is a problem solver. That's what people seem to forget what it is. It's a problem solver. If you go to YouTube, yeah, why do you go there? You go there how to, because you're going to find out about something. That's what you go to YouTube for. Nine times out of ten, apart from any other sort of music stuff, but nine times out of ten, you go there to find out something. YouTube is a problem solver, and it's the best way to describe it. And it may it may be the smallest thing, you know. If people are checking out reviews on a program, yeah, they might want before they get involved in a program, they might want to know what is the compensation plan. This is before they join, yeah. What what is the compensation? Player, what payment process have they got? You know, so if you're in a program and you're already up and running in it and you know it inside out, make videos on it. I'm telling you, make videos on it to say this is how to buy your packs, this is the compensation plan, yeah, this is where the owners are, you know, this is how this is your back office, this is how you get started. All these little things, and then people are finding your video. Well, this person seems to know what they're doing, I'm going to join this person. That is how it works. It's as simple as that. You know, you know, do your view on it and do it and then do it for another program and then do it for something else. If you know how to put images onto Craigslist, make a video on it. This is you know, it's and just keep doing it. You know, and just learn some SEO sort of uh keywords and that, you know, I won't get too involved. But just again, <laughs> as you find out about that, go on YouTube, just say how to SEO my YouTube video and you're gonna find hundreds. Yeah, different people telling you how to add keywords into your titles and throw some into your description and things like that. And just do what the, look at the guys that are, be, are successful with their videos. Because if you search for how to SEO my YouTube videos and a guy is showing you and he comes in the top results, guess what? He knows how to do it. Yeah, it's just that's the, that's the sort of mentality you got to look at. Like, well, this guy's quite high up and he's come up in the top two. So this guy must know what he's doing. Let's listen to what he's got to say. You know, and then just it's little things like that. So it's that was the sort of wanted to get on about the live today. It's not it's not what you know, you know, it's how you apply it. Application is key, absolutely key, you know, and it's just a case of being being consistent and taking that daily consistent action and the results will come. They have to come. Just having a quick look down, is there any other any other comments coming? I think that's covered them all. So, yeah, this is my 100-day blitz. Anyway, live day 33. So look at see what day I'm on. I've got, all, I've got the spreadsheet open in front of me. That's what I keep glancing up at. So, uh, yeah, it's on day 33. I do a Facebook Live every day. I normally do two or three posts on Facebook. And then I try and do a video on anything that sort of gets quite a good of questions or feedback the next day. That's sort of kind of how I do it. So uh, it gives me, gives me a sort of theme for the day. And... Uh, and so if anybody wants to jump on a live at any point, just message me or whatever, and we can all do a, a, a dual live. I sometimes do a screen share. I might use a, I might do another screen share in the next couple of days, maybe over the weekend. I'll show you what I've been doing. I can use OBS for that. Uh, that's a, a stands for uh, Open Broadcasting Software. I think it is something like that. Uh, if you, if anybody wants to know that, so you can actually do a Facebook live and show your screen at the same time. I'll probably use that over the weekend. So it's pretty good. So I think that covers just about it all. So some good comments today, some good viewers. Um, just sort of seeing if anyone else comes in. No. So I'm just looking down the screen see if any other comments come in. Love OBS. Oh, Lee uses OBS as well. Thanks, Charles. Charles, I'll give you I'll give you a call after this uh, live. I'll give you a call after this live, Charles. Yeah. I'll drop it down. I'll put it. <clears throat> um, Love OBS's uh, Lee. Yeah, OBS is very good. Very simple to use once you get the hang of it. Um, it's good for doing Facebook Live, as I say, because you can actually do a Facebook Live and show your screen at the same time. So it's pretty good. You're welcome, Lee. Yeah, Charles, I'll give you, I'll give you a call after this. Uh, give you a quick buzz. We'll catch up about what we're doing. All right, so thanks for watching then, guys. <clears throat> uh, 
live video day 33 I'll leave it there, I'll wrap it up, I think I've covered enough for today. Thanks for watching, please like and comment and leave your comments below, etc. Share others what you're thinking and uh, be consistent and apply what you've been shown and you'll get the results. So whatever you do, have a great day people, thanks for watching, catch you on the next video. Cheers.